Welcome back to another video. Um, I've been a little busy doing some swaps lately. This is a Graphic 45 swap. Um, the, all you had to do was use any Graphic 45 paper and you could use any embellishment you want. It did not have to be Graphic 45. So this is what I came up with. I used my sister's scrapper um, tutorial with the um, bags. I'd never done a bag mini album before so this was my first one. Um, her tutorial is so easy and simple, and it just, it really didn't take that long at all. So, we'll start with the album itself. I use the Le Cirque. I think that's how you pronounce it. Le Cirque, Le Cirque, whichever it is. Um, and that's the paper line I used. And I had some paper that, um, I think it was Joanne's used to carry it. It's coordinations. It's a pearl paper. There are eight and a half by eleven sheets, and I went ahead and embossed it, and I put this ribbon here, and then a button, and then I made this frame with resin, and then I um, put some um, of the gold paint on there, and then I put the graphic forty five image in there and glossy accented it, and of course I had to make a charm for it. I always have to make a charm for every album, it seems like. So this is what I came up with. Um, I used this, let me get this, this spindle. And then I just added some twine to it and put a crown on it. And I have these bows that I thought were super cute. So I put a gold bow on there and then just, just put some beads on here and then a key and then a rondelle right there just to bling it up some. So, and then I have, I've had this ribbon forever, so I just put that on there. Um, let me see if I can adjust a little bit and get you in a little closer so you can see. Hopefully you can see that. All right, so, and then I put these flowers on there. This is a yellow flower, a blue, and then I made this. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. I can't really. Okay. Um. A black rose and I put the um, the Viva paint on there and then I made this one is a red red translucent and then this gold one and I just put a button on there and then this butterfly that I had in my stash so that's it for the outside and we'll go on to the inside I made a let me zoom out so you can see I made a pocket right here with one of the cards and then I made these photo mats here right here it says Lolo's flight through the balloons it's just um, from the tag sheet and then this is the um, one of the tags that comes with the paper line so I did that and then I did, um, this is the outside flap of the flying um, acrobats, and then I used a little punch I have for the corners, and then all of them, I made the insides have a little um, magnetic uh, photo mats on the inside, and then each one has a large tag. I used the paper line on both sides. And it just slides in and out. And then I made this little um, this little tab at the top there for it. So, and then I went ahead and um, just matched the papers to the court to the following sheets. So they kind of just it kind of goes together. And then here's some tags from the paper line. I put two of those in there. And this is the next page here. So I just alternated the sheets. Um, this is another magnetic photo mats, and I put this little tag on there and put some twine on there. Here's another large photo mat for both sides. Um, and this album is, I believe it's six by eight. So yeah. And then there's this side right here. Hopefully you can see this. Um, 
And then I just put some more tags in there. Just alternated the papers. And this one I did up and down and put, um, it says Le Cirque. And I love the elephant paper. That's my favorite paper on the paper line. So I used it quite a bit. And then here's the this photo mat. And then it's got the black and gold on the back. Let me get it back in there. I'll put it in the back. It has to go into the front pocket. Um, yeah, and you can find that tutorial here on YouTube. Um, she made it actually made the tutorial I'm trying to keep my head out of the way um quite some time ago so um yeah and so all the parts to it are out and it's it's a really easy fun quick book to make um so here's this one i believe it's yeah it's six pages some more tags and then another flap here you can see the paper line up close and then more here, and an elephant. And then I put more, so she can, you can put whatever you want on there. I didn't do too much extra embellishing outside of tags and stuff. I figured if she wanted to do something extra, she could. So that's what I did. And then I did put this little tag with some bling on it. And then we open to the next page. And another photo map magnetic photo mat and there's that and another large another large tag yeah with the tab on the top and I did do all the tabs the same so they was all uniform that way and then here's some more tags um, and the last page opens just like that and I put a graphic 45 tag there and another magnetic photo and then we got this here two more tags and then I did the waterfall feature so I did this and I figured if she didn't want to cover up the paper she I left this blank so that way she could put photos there and that gives you one two three four five six seven seven eight opportunities for photos if you want to cover them all then that that give you quite ample amount of space for that so there's that and this is the back I went ahead and put some match the ribbon on the side and then I put some breads in here and I'm just going to tie it with the matching ribbon to this right here and this is going to be shipped out tomorrow um, so yeah I think it came out good and I finished it and it, I didn't add anything or go all crazy out like my other one so now that I'm done with this swap I am going to um, film the cover for the Halloween mini that will finally be done once the covers done I cannot wait to get that done so um, yeah, so that's the next thing to be watching out for and I have another video that I filmed of a um, I did a file folder it's like a mini file folder mini album I have the one the girl sent me so I can show you what I'm talking about that's another swap that I've been in recently let me get hers and just show it to you real quick I don't think I put this in the other video so she did a good job on it and it's a graphic 45 paper line which I really really love this paper line it's the by the sea paper line and let me get back over here so I can show it to you. I'll move this out of the way. And this is what she came up with. So it's very cute. And she put a lot of little um, details in it. So, which I thought was super cute with the buttons and then some burlap there. Um, so, yeah, this is a Teresa Collins tutorial that we used for this. So, all right. So, here's a little tag she made. And then she put the mermaids wanted on there and on mine I went ahead I went ahead because I, I don't like things when they look like for myself when I do it I covered all the paper the inside the outside everywhere with uh, I'm trying to think what I used I used the die cuts with the view it's their nautical um their nautical paper I will find I gotta find the video to that and I'll get that posted too 
Um, so yeah, there's that. And then this is the second page. And she put, this is another tag she made, super cute. She did a great job on this. And then some ribbon. And this was her, this was all of ours, had never done this before. I had never seen this before, so. Um, and then there's the lighthouse right there. And then there's some more of what she did with the paper line. And then the front again. So, yeah. So that's what she came up with. Um, I will try to find that video and get it posted as soon as I can. So you can check it out and see what I came up with. So I hope you all had a great day. If you have any questions at all, feel free to private message me. And then, or you can just leave a comment and I'll respond to it. I have gotten some uh, comments on my videos and for some reason I'm not getting notifications of them. So if you notice that I don't respond, to your comment it's because I didn't get a notification for it so if you want to you can just private message me if you notice it's been a day or so and I haven't commented that means I didn't get the notification so if you do that I will be more than happy to message you back so I hope you all have a great week and I will be back soon with another video talk to you soon bye